do you like my new glasses? They're just reading glasses. But I wanted to find the biggest ones that I could out there. And I'd say I won that game. <laughs> It's Chad. I'm a pastor here in Louisiana, and I make videos about the Bible, about the devotional life, and the everyday life of a pastor. And what I want to talk to you today is about my favorite color in my Bible markup system. And really, it's not just about my favorite color, but about my favorite color and how it relates to this bad boy right here, which is my journal. And I've talked about journaling before. I'll throw a link up in the, uh, the thing above about that. But what this pink means in my markup system, and I've gone all about my markup system in the past, is this means I have referenced that verse elsewhere. And it happens in either one of three places. It either gets referenced in the back of my Bible, and this is why I will always use a Cambridge wide margin called the hardbacks, turkey buzzards, because they had these beautiful pages in the back. And this is what the thing I just cannot give up would be, is they either have this blank notebook paper in the back, or they have this amazing space where you can make your own index, or it means I have written about this verse in my journal. And this is what I love about this. Now, sometimes when I am uh, reading my Bible, you'll see I've got some post-it notes that are there. And sometimes I'll come across passages or come across things, and I'm going to write a couple of notes on that post-it. But other times I'm thinking about something, and I know I'm going to be thinking about it more and more and more, or I might be coming back to it, or I'm building some ideas off of each other, whatever that is. Um, or I just become, my heart gets impacted in some special and unique way. And when I put that little pink marker on there, I'll notate what that pink means because, and I'll, I'll write the pink down and I either put Bob, which stands for back of Bible. I will put uh, index if I'm throwing it there, or I put journal and I put the date on there. And then that lets me know in the scripture that at some point in time in this, I began to be just uniquely impacted in some way. And I wanted to process it and think about it even more. And I do that here in my journal. Places where I, I work and think out things, but you can see just like my Bible, I've got color markers and indexes and that sort of a thing. Uh, but that's what that, that, that pink thing means. And this is why this matters. We should not be encountering the text without expecting to think that God is going to do something amazing and dramatic in our hearts about it. And sometimes this is where I think real spiritual maturity comes into play is he's going to put something in our hearts. He's going to give us something. We're going to be impacted in some big way and we're going to, it's going to take us longer than 30 seconds to process it out. Uh, as a friend of mine said one time, you know, sometimes we get a dose of the ghost. And we're going to have to learn to deal with that and dealing with that. It's going to take several days or several uh, moments or several hours or times or whatever like that. And the best place I have found to do that is inside your journal. That's why this is just one of the most important parts of spiritual development uh, for me. There have been times where I have felt something in the moment. And I've had to like stop what I'm reading and doing and that kind of thing. And I'm going to spend 20, 30, 45 minutes in my journal thinking through it, thinking through it. I will end up getting like multiple pages of stuff in here. Uh, and, and sometimes this just stays inside of me completely. Uh, sometimes these things turn into messages. I'll be honest with you. The more and more I think about my preaching over the last three or four months, the best sermons, the best preaching, the best, all of that stuff started off in my journal as I was mentally processing these things personally. And sometimes they're ideas that literally stick with me for years. I, I'm working still to this day right now off of something that happened in my heart once while I was journaling. And, and I'm still thinking about it now. In fact, I've got multiple symbols and I've got notes in the back of older former turkey buzzers because I used these things only for one year. 
to where I'm just tracing out the biblical references. And there you go, this comes full circle, is me marking down in my Bible, okay, I've seen this, this relates to this, I'm making a note somewhere so I can come back to it. So, Bible journal tip for the day, or Bible markup tip for the day, whatever. Have a color for personal insight and have a place to do that processing where you can come back to it. So I'm Chad, it's awesome to be here with you for just a few minutes talking about the Bible and what the Bible does for us. And I will see you back in the next video.